very welcome to episode 5 of Through the Lens. This week I want to talk a little bit about photography and um, also how to produce a very good image that I will get into more detail as the episode goes on. But first, I have a few announcements to make. One of them, which is right here. Which is the 2019 Photographer of the Year. Um, for starters, this is not something that I was expecting. Um, and I am, um, well, for starters, it took me about five minutes to realize that I had actually won the award because not once did I think oh I'm going to get this award or someone else is going to get this award or whatever but it is very nice to receive an award uh, especially when It's your last kind of gathering as a, as a year and it's nice to finish the year on a high. Um, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Murphy who kind of put me up for the award. Um, so I do thank him for that and uh, he's very good at keeping tight lipped on things um, yeah it's really I won an award for an excellence in computer coding there about three years ago and looking back on it now I thought great I have an excellence in computer coding award that was given to me three years ago. Um, but looking back on it on a more serious note, I thought maybe maybe I could go for an award like that. But I never imagined uh, being through six years of post-primary education and receiving an award uh, like that um, but yeah that is my announcement to make I am photographer of the year 2019 uh, I realized that this week the camera angle is slightly higher than it was previous weeks um, this however will be fixed for episode 6 and uh, Let's get straight into it. Now, I know last week I said we'd focus on different things, but this week um, I kind of want to go into a little bit more detail about uh, balloon splash photography. And what I mean by that is um, there is a technique used in photography called I have it down as balloon splash because I put it into Google last week and it was one of the things to come up first um, yes this is it the technical name for this is high-speed balloon photography um, 
I had it down as Blue Splash Photography because when I typed that into Google, uh, it was one of the first things that came up. How to shoot balloons with the interaction of water. Very similar to what I did with my lens ball uh, photography posted at the beginning of kind of mid-January, mid uh, mid to late January of this year. Uh, photograph which is available on my Instagram profile at Well Framed Photography, uh, which I will leave a link to down in the description. Um, but I read through, I found this article last week, and it's. I will go into more detail about this in next week's episode. Um, but I found this article on how to carry it out, and it's very insightful. I will leave a link to it in. The description below to read uh, as well um, but the main points I took away from uh, reading the article was that in order to in order to focus the balloon splashing on the thumbtack or sh a sharp object um, you have to use manual focus and um, to, to focus the to sharpen the balloon image otherwise um, when you drop the balloon on the on the pin or whatever sharp implement you use uh, the the shutter speed from the camera won't be fast enough and you'll end up getting fragments of burst balloon all over the place uh, and very little action from uh, the actual balloon bursting. So you use manual focus to get a uh, sharp balloon image and then uh, you use an aperture of 1 to 4 and a low ISO setting. This uh, works in conjunction with the uh, manual focus and uh, it allows for a clear, pristine image. Um, all the details will be linked in the article below uh, if you want to go check that out. Um, and then uh, for an optional setting, uh, I think most cameras have a bulb mode or that have an external flash, and that might some of the flashes might have. Um, an external bulb that you attach to the lens, or the, not the lens, the flash of the camera. Um, so you just add that to the camera and um, you take a photo. And they say uh, you use bulb mode and a long exposure of 10 to 15 seconds in order to. Um, achieve the same image in brightness as you were to do in darkness. So if you were to do the same kind of burst of water uh, in darkness you'd use uh, a, a bulb uh, mode on the camera and an exposure of about 10 to 15 seconds. Um, I will go into more detail about this next Tuesday, uh, or no, sorry, next Friday, um, and I'll give you a rundown how how it was done and what the results were. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that's next week's episode for sorted, uh, and then. I have a few more announcements to make next week as well, uh, but I, I won't keep rambling on too much about it here. Um, so, yeah, winning the award was kind of
it was a shock to me to be honest because um, I wasn't expecting it but yeah it's, it's nice to receive an award and um, I am very grateful for that so I will see you next week where I will go into more detail about the uh, about the high speed balloon photography I'll give you a rundown of how, it's, how to do it how to carry it out on your own um, with your own camera equipment and uh, then I'll have more announcements to make next week regarding uh, future projects and the I'll just say future projects for now because I have it all under wraps at the moment um, but you'll find out next week what I'm talking about and uh, I will see you in episode six uh, of Through the Lens. Until then, thank you very much for watching this week's episode and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.